Hello dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel on LELP Society. This session I'm going to teach you another unit of 1100 words you need to know week 35 day 2. Let's focus on new words. Effrontery. I'm sorry the first word is equanimity. Equanimity means peace of mind, tranquility, and relaxation as you can see it means calmness and self-control and the second word is effrontery effrontery means temerity courage boldness bravery and uh, the next word is non-entity which means one of no importance or nobody and flabbergasted American English flabber, flabbergasted British English means astounded uh, astonished and also astounded uh, confused baffled and surprised shocked debacle means ruin and collapse complete failure as a noun and now let's see how these words have been used in the context modernizing a parable parable as you can notice here refers to a moral moral story generally uh, including animals as the characters and the the basic and the most important example is Aesop. Okay. So Thurber or James Thurber, if you want to know their complete name, punctures or ruins, destroys. In an incisive means critical, straightforward and frank way. The platitudes that come from uh, stories handed down through the generations. Platitude refers to something that is banal or cliched, too ordinary, that come from or originate from stories handed down or passed down uh, through the generations passed down or transmitted okay these old saws saw means proverb saying are accepted by everyone one such tale tale or story is about a tortoise tortoise very similar to turtle it's a reptile animal reptilian animal who had read in an ancient book that the tortoise had beaten or defeated uh, a hare what is a hare a hare is a big let's say bigger it's like a rabbit but actually in a bigger size and uh, that can run very fast in a race so the tortoise has beaten or defeated, uh, let's say, the, has beaten the uh, tortoise in a race. The sage or wise old tortoise construed or understood this story to mean that he could outrun a hare. Just because of the story, uh, he just came to this understanding that he could outrun or run faster outrun outrun means run faster run faster the hair with equanimity or peace of mind or tranquility he hunted for or searched for a hair and soon found one now in quotation marks do you have the temerity do you have the effrontery to challenge me as the incredulous hair uh, the hare was incredulous because it was very difficult for 
the hair to just believe that the tortoise could defeat or beat him. Uh, it refers to that ordinary platitude in the Aesop uh, series. Incredulous means a person who has difficulties believing something. You are a non-entity. He scoffed at the tortoise. Scoff means ridicule and uh, deride, sneer at. It means you are not comparable to me when it comes to running. Okay. Uh, a course of 50 feet was set out, uh, so around 17 meters was set out when they started. Okay, the other animals gathered around their site, so everybody was there in order to just witness or to watch or observe the competition. At the sound of the gun, they were off. It means they were distant from the f from the start line. When the hare crossed the finish line, the flabbergasted tortoise had gone approximately eight and three quarter quarter inches. It means it is n not comparable, actually, to the distance. Uh, gone by the hair uh, okay so the hair just finished the line the mm, direction and the flabbergasted the tortoise surprised so tortoise had gone approximately or nearly eight and three quarters nearly nine inches so it's really infinitesimal the moral means valuable lesson in behavior. The moral th uh, Thurber draws from the moral, it means the story that Thurber draws from this debacle or complete failure for the tortoise, is that a new broom may sweep clean, but never trust an old saw. Well, actually, the very last sentence of this passage is a good uh, summary of the whole passage it means that uh, something uh, an a saw that is so important to cut through for example wood uh, if it is old and the threads of that actually are out of use or service so you need to get rid of that and jettison that all right so sample sentences number one he was precautious precautious refers to a child who shows uh, extraordinary talent, particularly from a mental point of view, and uh, youngster. But he soon reached the nadir, means the lowest position of his career, lost all of his prestige, and became a non-entity. So, in his childhood he was really a genius but after a while actually he reached for the nadir or the lowest part of his position or vocation and lost all of his prestige and become became an non-entity okay number two do you have the effrontery to take that supercilious and facetious attitude towards something as sinister as this um it's a rhetorical question, but anyway, do you have this boldness, bravery, or courage to take that supercilious, means arrogant, self-centered, and facetious? Facetious uh, is a person who is mm, jocose and, let's say, funny or amusing, particularly in a way that he or she is not supposed to act like this. Attitude towards something as sinister Sinister means uh, threatening and warning and uh, something foreboding as this. Number three. These turbulent times require a leader who does not go into a capricious peak, 
but rather one who faces acrimonious criticism with equanimity. Turbulent means unpredictable, inflexible, and also moving or changing all the time with so much, so many risings and fallings. Require, need a leader who does not go into a capricious means unpredictable peak state of anger but rather it means instead one who faces acrimonious criticism or you can say incisive criticism uh, with equanimity it means a person who who is really cool in the face of problems or difficulties number four when the judge exonerated the charlatan we were all flabbergasted so the judge exonerated or acquit a c q u i t or exempted opposite of that is accuse the charlatan or fraud f r a u d uh, we were really surprised or flabbergasted number five the fortuitous means uh, accidental but in a good and positive way appearance of a relief column permitted an adroit means a skillful escape from the imminent debacle imminent means likely to happen okay and today's idiom to raise cane it means to cause trouble and to make a mob to make a fuss to cause or make trouble so when he found he was left holding the bag he decided to raise Cain when he noticed that actually he was the only person who was supposed to assume all the responsibilities and uh, his for example partners or colleagues had left him alone actually he decided to raise Cain or to cause trouble to re reciprocate actually the trouble and that's it for unit 35 i mean week 35 day 2 of 1100 words you need to know i hope you find if you have found this video useful if if so please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any question you can just uh, jot them down in the comment form and i will contact you as soon as possible thank you for your attention and bye bye